Magdalena Olina Yisaurina was born on December 12, 1897 in Banyoles, Girona, Spain. She was the daughter of a coal and wood dealer. From an early age, Magdalena began accompanying her older sister in works of charity among the poor. Her sister later became a Carmelite nun. In 1912, at the age of 15, Magdalena read Gemma Galgani's biography, The Life of Gemma Galgani, written by Father Germana Zoropolo and was greatly inspired by Gemma's fervent love for God. It was from this time that she became devoted to Gemma. She was very devoted to helping others, especially in their faith, and in 1916, she organized a month of married devotion for the children in a neighborhood, and later she organized a parish catechism group. She also began to feel that she had a religious vocation. In 1921, at the age of 24, Magdalena became very ill with a serious heart condition. Turning in prayer to her favorite friend in heaven, she made a novena to Gemma, who was then officially a servant of God, and to the great surprise of everyone, she was miraculously cured through the intercession of Gemma. This cure confirmed in her a special spiritual link with Gemma, and many people came to visit her to hear of her miraculous cure, having heard the remarkable story of Gemma Gagani's help. Now at some point thereafter, she began receiving mystical visions of Saint Gemma, which she revealed to her spiritual director and those close to her. She would continue her fervent devotion to Saint Gemma Gagani throughout her life. In 1934, with the help of others, she had a monumental fountain in honor of Gemma built in the hometown of Banyoles. Gemma had just been recently officially declared blessed by Pope Pius XI. Now after a cure, but perhaps even before, she began to have mystical visions and experiences and was seen at times to go into ecstasy. Some of the mystical visions she received included visits from Saint Gemma, whom according to Olina, often guided her in spiritual and material matters. Interestingly, she and others nearby would repeatedly notice a certain scent during the times when Saint Gemma was allegedly said to be present. In 1922, one year after Magdalena's cure, she founded a house in Banyoles for women workers called Casa Nostra, our house. In 1926, she helped to build a church in the neighborhood and she also organized a literacy program. By 1931, some unmarried woman lived with Olina in Banyoles full time and in 1933, three of them took the first private vows of chastity, poverty and obedience. In 1941, she sent some of her religious associates to Navarre, where they continued the apostolic activities, creating the Pious Union of Parish Workers, now commonly known as Secular Institute of Parish Workers. She founded more houses in Huesca, La Rioja, and then in Valencia. In 1951, she founded a house in Rome, Italy. In 1962, the Vatican approved her religious order as an all-female secular institute on November 6, 1962, despite the resistance from some of the Catalan dioceses who were not fond of Magdalena's institute. Given her devotion to Saint Gemma, Magdalena Olina chose Gemma as the patroness of her institute, placing an image of Gemma in the top right corner of the emblem shield of the institute. Since Gemma herself was a layperson, she thus encouraged the members of the institute to model their love and devotion to God after the extraordinary example of Saint Gemma, who loved God with all her heart, mind and strength. Like most religious founders, she was not without her adversaries within and outside the church, such is a common cross that most religious founders have to bear. Magdalena Olina died a holy death on May 15, 1956. The Secular Institute of Parish Workers is currently active primarily in Spain, Italy and France. The charism and mission of the institute is for lay people to actively assist the church in caring for and educating the poor and elderly and to promote Christian life in families. Venerable Magdalena Olina, pray for us.